All right, so in this lesson, I'm going to show you exactly how to build your schedule. Let's do chat GPT. Woo -woo. So I'll show you exactly how I did this and how I built this schedule in Hype Fury. So when you log in to Hype Fury and click on recurrent posts on the left hand side, it's going to show you a list of calendar like this. Now yours is going to be blank because you didn't schedule any of the categories yet. But on the top right hand side, what I like to do, because I don't feel like scrolling down to see all this stuff, just want to click this little toggle and it says show only filled hours. So it will only show you exactly where your posts are scheduled at what time. Now, what I did to make this easy on myself is I went to chat GPT. I said, I need you to quickly help me schedule things. Here's my situation. Here's the categories I have. I want to post three times a day on Twitter with a consistent schedule, but there's some constraints. I only want the threads to be two times a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I only want the DM giveaway to be one time a week on Thursday morning. And then here's the daily times I'm going to post 750 AM, 150 PM, 750 PM, seven days a week. Please rotate through the list of categories and build me a seven day posting calendar calendar along with the category and the time will be posted at. I will physically copy this entire prompt for you and include this for you at the bottom of this um, in this module in this lesson. But then from here is basically what I did was I went through and I just kind of as I was building things, I edited it. Um, can you list me a category and how many times a week it was listed? It gave me how many times a week that style of content was being published. And I said, can you keep the same schedule, but remove the 150 slot after the giveaway on Thursday? So when you see this, right, I wanted my giveaway. If, if, if I'm like, comment below and I'll give you this freebie or this lead magnet, I want this to just breathe. I want it to keep going. I don't want to put a post six hours later behind it. I want it to keep going all the way until my nighttime tweet to hopefully get that, um, you know, to boost it at that point in time. So. You can mess around with ChatGPT to ask you to move stuff around. And then it gave me the frequency as well of, of every category. Um, I kind of move stuff around afterwards as well. So you can click and you can drag this over here. Now keep in mind, it will automatically move it to the beginning of the time slot. So if you see it went from 1.50 p.m. to 1 p.m. Let's move this back here and we're just gonna easily go up and change this back to 150 p.m. and there we go we have it so that's how you build your schedule specifically in uh, hype fury and in the recurrent post we're not going to do it in the queue so you can do it in the queue and the schedule here you want to physically do it in the recurrent post because it gives you a good visual of what a seven day content cadence is actually going to look like um, you can again manage the categories up here. So if you wanted to add a new category, you know, things like that, you can certainly do it that way. Or if you click inside, you'll be able to select a category. So let's uh, let's do test category. You can um, create a new category in here. If you don't have it, you can select different days and then you can select the times as well. You can add another time. So, um, you know, if you want to do something like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday at 1 p.m. and 9 p.m., we have the test categories, right? Now, I'm not going to click that. I'll just do this just to show you. Let's just do this just to show you what it looks like. And we have our test category showed up right here. So we can just click this. You can edit it or delete it all within the schedule, which is really, really easy to use. So you want to continually add to your content your buckets, your categories here. I would suggest having anywhere between 20 and 40 tweets per category. You don't have to do them all at one time, but it's really nice to just start off with, you know, five to 10 maybe per category. And then that way, you, you know, you give yourself some headway, give yourself some leeway. And what I do is every quarter, I will do this uh, about, no, not, not every quarter, about every two months or so. I will go back through and I will see which categories, which tweets actually did well in the Twitter's analytics. 
I will keep those, and which ones didn't do well, I'll rewrite them, or I'll just get rid of them entirely if they don't really fit my my brand anymore, or if they're just something that you know, I just don't want tweeted again. That you know, maybe it was just super poor performing or not not part of my core messaging. I'll eliminate that and I will add more tweets. So in the next module, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you exactly how you would add more tweets to your categories.